In today's Hatha Yoga class, we're going to release into peace as well as a mindfulness practice that you can take into your daily life. Hi, I'm Melissa from Yoga with Melissa. This is real yoga for real people. You can start by resting back. You can lie with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor or your legs out long. This will be a nice transition from the busyness of our day. For today's class, you'll need a meditation cushion or a folded blanket. This is a brand new series where we'll focus on simple mindfulness practices that you can incorporate into your daily life to calm your mind and sweep the dust from your heart. So tuck your shoulder blades underneath your shoulders to hold your heart. Let your head be heavy. Let your mind empty of thoughts. Just visualize the thoughts sinking down and into the earth. On our mats, we'll reflect on something that we do in our everyday life. During the practice time, I'm going to give you a contemplation that you can take with you off your mats and into your day-to-day -day life. A way to be present with your ordinary tasks. So instead of being scattered and overthinking, your mind will have something to focus on. In our yoga class, we'll be present with our movements. And these movements will create a kinesthetic imprint of what we will be meditating on during our day-to-day -day life this week. When we meditate, when we are mindful in our day-to-day -day life, we can be calm and content and our minds don't get caught up in overthinking. The everyday ordinary task that we're going to be bringing mindfulness to is cleaning. Our daily housework is a chance to contemplate our true self and extend our spiritual practice. When we clean, we have an opportunity to cultivate our mind and sweep the dust off our heart. Cleaning is not burdensome. It's a spiritual practice to cultivate our minds and our hearts. Now, before you get all gung-ho and decide to clean your house from top to bottom, we're just going to focus on one small thing each week. Last week, we focused on our heart protector meridians and opening and closing our cupboards and our drawers. This week, we're going to contemplate our bathroom. And specifically, <laughs> this is probably the worst one of the whole series, but <laughs> we're going to focus on having a clean toilet. <laughs> when our toilet is clean, it's a beautiful space for us to release impurities, to let go of the mental constipation, the constipated emotions, the pent up energy, the things that we hold on to, and we can let them go. It lets us be calm enough so that we can relax, so that we can let go, so that we can let go of everything that we need to let go of. But if that space isn't clean, and clean, then we can't relax in that space. So we'll focus this week on keeping just the toilet space in our bathrooms clean. <laughs> I don't know if any of you watched uh, Fly, if you follow Fly Lady over the years, but she just has you do something really simple. You just swish and swipe every day. Swish and swipe, just keep that toilet clean. Okay, so our first pose is on your backs. And you're going to start with your right knee into your chest. Inhale, release slightly. Exhale, draw your knee in. Inhale, release. Exhale, draw your knee in. Inhale, release. Exhale, draw your knee in. Inhale, release. Exhale, draw your knee in. If you have knee issues, hold on behind your knee. Inhale, release. 
Exhale, draw your knee in. Now we're going to take it across our body. Inhale. Exhale, across. And I'm going to try not to roll into the ocean. You guys come into the full twist. I think if I come into the full twist, I'm going in the drink. Inhale. Exhale, cross. Inhale. Exhale, cross. Inhale. Exhale, cross. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. And then just pause in the center and see how you feel on the right side. Notice how your ascending colon, your belly on the right side is relaxing. And then let's go ahead and do this on the other side. Left leg comes in, inhale. Exhale, draw your knee in. Inhale. Exhale, knee in. So we're letting go of anything that feels stuck, anything you're holding on to. And we'll cross over. And then you're going to come back to the center and rest back on your back again. And pause here, feel in your belly. Just notice how you can relax and let go here. Okay, so we're going to do that again. Right knee into chest, inhale. Exhale, draw your knee in, letting go of any stuck energy anything that you're holding on to. This is for your large intestine. And then we're gonna inhale, open it out. Exhale, cross over into the twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, cross. <laughs> I really am on the cliff here. And then come back to center and rest and relax into peace here. Feel the right side of your body resting down, relaxing and letting go. And then let's do it on the left side again. The descending colon, inhale, exhale, press. Inhale, release, exhale, press. And then we'll cross over. And come back to center and feel the difference. Feel yourself resting into peace here.
And then you're going to bend your knees and roll to your side and make your way up onto all fours for cat pose. Okay. In cat pose, we'll just start by exhaling and rounding up through your back. And inhaling and arching. And move from your navel. And actually, if you can imagine here, so your large intestines come up, across, and down. So if you can imagine in your cat pose moving from this space, so here, 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 that would be really great. So when we move from cat pose, we can think about moving from all different positions. You can move from your spine, your navel, your heart. This time, imagine moving from your large intestine. So exhale round, inhale arch. And then let's walk to one side. So walk to your left, so you're lengthening out your ascending colon. So feel, notice how that feels along the right side of your lower belly between your rib cage and your hip bone here. And then let's go to the other side, walk to your right side and notice how it feels between your rib cage and your hip bone on your descending colon. And then come back to center and you're going to bend your knees and place your feet flat on the floor in front of you. And sit up nice and tall. If you have any low back issues, herniated discs, you're gonna lie down on your back. You're gonna do ab curls with rotations on your back instead. Ab curl, rotate, rotate, and down, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna do boat pose here. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, inhale. You're gonna exhale, lean back. Take your arms out to the side, rotate, rotate, in and up. Stay nice and tall, lean back, take your arms out, rotate, rotate, in and up. Okay, so lean back, open your arms, rotate, rotate, in and up, lean back, open, rotate, rotate, in and up. One more, lean back, open, rotate, okay, we're going to come back to cat pose. Going to, moving from those large intestines again, exhale round, inhale arch. Walk your hands over to the left. And the right.
And back to boat pose, unless you have herniated discs or slipped discs, you're gonna come back on your back again, do an ab curl, rotate, rotate, and, and, and rest back. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, long through your spine, inhale. Lean back, arms out to the side, exhale, rotate, exhale, rotate, arms together, and up. We're going to do one more. And you can bring your feet open and lean forward here. And then you're going to sit in... Um, easy pose so you might want to have a blanket for this so that it's easier to sit up a folded blanket or a meditation cushion so you're going to sit up on the blanket so that it's easier to lengthen up through your spine and then we're just going to scrape the peanut butter jar so rotating from your ribs imagining from your lower ribs, scraping a peanut butter jar. And then you're going to go the other way. And then you're going to inhale, reach your left arm up, side bend. And lower, inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to the right side. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend. And then you're going to reach over to your uh, right knee. And then come back up. Lower it down. You're going to inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend. And then you're going to exhale, reach over to your left knee and fold forward. And you're going to come up. Let's switch the leg that we have crossed in front. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend. Side bend over your right knee. And roll up. And then we'll do right arm comes up. Exhale, side bend. And 
and fold forward over your left knee. And then roll up and then you're going to take your legs out long in front of you. You're going to bend your right leg in, wrap your left arm around your left, your right leg. And then come back to center. You're going to reach your right leg out long. Bend your left leg in. Wrap your right arm around your left leg and turn towards it. And then come back to center and you can rest back for Shavasana. So you guys go ahead and rest down for Shavasana. I'm going to stay seated and read you a poem. Okay, in Shavasana, I have a poem for you called Departure from the Divining Pool by Amanda Merritt. Departure. The body of water shifts, breeze slow as sleep. To the west, mist collects like down in the crevices between low-lying mountains. Cumulus waves weep at the shoreline of the gulf, dense with refracted, refracted light. At 600 feet, the coast shimmers with sundown, elevated like a fingerprint, lifted from the page of a book pulse impalpable across the expanse of a sheet drawn lightly over the shape of the land. So as you come to the end of your Shavasana here, I want to acknowledge you for bringing peace into your life by incorporating mindfulness practices into your day-to-day -day experience this week and last week. So start to wiggle and stretch out, deepen your breath, bend your knees, roll to your side. Pause on your side for a moment. Slowly make your way up to seated and we'll gather the fruits of our practice first in ourselves and then offer them out into the world. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu Loka samasta suki no bhavantu Loka samasta suki no bhavantu May all beings be happy and free and may the thoughts, words and actions of my own life in some way contribute to the happiness and freedom for all. Give yourself a thumbs up for finishing the class and put I am releasing into peace so I know who my finishers are. And thanks for subscribing and recommending this class to two of your friends. That would be amazing. 
And um, thank you so much to everybody who donated to our camera and our drone and all the ancillary pieces that went with it. We are enjoying filming with these things so much. It's making everything so much easier. It's allowing us to hike into beautiful locations like Aylyard Farm here this week. And if you would like my 10 days to uh, re constipation relief, because if you notice, today's class was excellent for digestion and constipation. Uh, yoga classes, poses, juices, smoothies, self-massage. Go to melissawest.com slash constipated and I will send that to you. And I'm sending you much love from beautiful British Columbia. May your joy be as deep as our Pacific Ocean. May you be as strong as our mountains and may you be as rooted as the old growth trees in our forest. Om Shanti. Namaste.